Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use open stage control to create a custom sort of interface to an instrument. Um, add knobs, sliders, X, Y pads, whatever kinds of controls you want, even a piano keyboard, uh, and have that send messages over in real time, either through MIDI or OSC to VCV rack, where it'll affect sound in some way. So imagine that you could push a uh, button on your iPad and have it trigger a sequence in VCV rack or uh, tweak a slider on your phone and have it change or modulate something that's happening in VCV rack. Um, all of those things are possible and there's kind of infinite possibilities. One uh, way that this has happened before, I guess, is with something like a lemur. They're pretty expensive. I don't know what state it's in now, if it's just kind of software for an iPad, but the way I've always understood a lemur is that it's a hardware device that you buy. You create this custom interface on the screen and you can uh, do just exactly what I just described. Open stage control is the same thing, but it's free open source software and you can download it for Windows or Linux or Mac. So um, I will just show you if you can download it yourself, uh, get the 64 bit version if you can. I'll show you what it looks like when you open it and we'll leave uh, VCV rack over here on the side. So the first uh, First, the way that open stage control works is that it creates a server on your computer that's accessible through a URL. And that URL could be opened on any browser, on your phone or tablet, or, or on this computer that I'm sitting at. So the first thing is to configure that server and any settings that you want, and then just hit the start button. So what I'm going to do is go back and forth between VCV rack and open stage control as I configure the two of them to talk to each other. The first thing is uh, we're trying to send in this first example OSC messages from open stage control to VCV rack. I think probably most of us are more familiar with MIDI, but um, I'm just going to go in this order. So over here in VCV rack, I want to add an OSC module and um, if you get this Troasoft CV OSC CV module, it will do just that. What this allows us to do is take any control voltages or gates, triggers, and uh, plug them into this input half of the module, and that will send them out as OSC messages with this address, slash CH1, slash CH2, slash CH3. That's hard to say. Um, and then, and then some software somewhere could receive those OSC messages and do whatever they want with it. Um, in this case, we're actually interested in the opposite. We'll work with the right side of the module, which says if a, an OSC message comes over with the address slash CH slash one, then take whatever information is encapsulated in that OSC message and do something with it probably convert it to a control voltage and have it do something in VCV rack. So that's what we're going to try and do. So the first thing is uh, making sure that this uh, open stage control server is sending uh, to the right address and port. So here I've got it set up to just send to localhost 127.0.0.1. You could do that on your computer. It doesn't matter what your IP address, that special address means this computer. It doesn't really matter what your IP address is on the network. So um, I'll choose also a port number 7773. I've just made that up. And if I go over here to this module and choose config, if this green button is here saying enable, that means the current the module is currently disabled, which is great because that's the only way you can change the settings here. So I'll make sure the IP address matches and it does. And then I'll make sure the input port matches what I've chosen as the output port in open stage control. So 7773, and then I'll choose enable. Uh, now I'm still in config mode because this LED is glowing in the middle and it's allowing me to change settings like which addresses should I be listening to and what should I do when I receive that message? So now let's move back to open stage control and get it to send some messages. So when I hit play here, that will start the server. And one thing to notice is I chose uh, to have debug on. So it gives me a lot of information down here in the console. I think whether you have that on or not, it'll definitely tell you this, which is where it started the server. So um, what it also did was open this window that allows me to create that custom interface that I'm interested in. Uh, I will choose session, new session here, and that allows me to start adding widgets. 
like I said, the interesting thing here is that these three URLs are actually all places that you can go in any browser and see that same interface. So if I just paste that in here or on my phone, I get the same interface where I can create a session, I can open a recent session, uh, and um, it actually allows me, I think, even if I went to my phone and chose session, open recent session, it'll actually show me uh, sessions that I created on the computer. So um, let's look back here, get everything back where it was. Here is the kind of canvas where we add widgets. I will right click, add a widget, and I'll just add a knob. If I click on that widget, uh, there's all kinds of configuration here. So the main thing I'm interested in is what is the address that it's going to send over uh, and that VCV rack is going to receive. So there's an ID for this knob. It's knob underscore one. And the address, if I leave it at auto, it actually just chooses the ID as the address. So over here, all I have to do is make sure that it's listening for messages that look like knob underscore one. Um, the other thing is some value is going to come over as I turn the knob. Every movement of the knob creates a new OSC message with that address and some value. So let me choose advanced here in the module. And what it's telling me is that it's expecting an OSC value that goes from 0 to 127. Let's see what the knob is sending. Currently it's sending 0 through 1. So I'd want those two to match one way or the other. So I'll change that to 0 to 127. And over here, it's not so useful to get a value of 0 to 127 and do something with it in VCV rack. We probably want it to look more like a control voltage. So when it's at its lowest value, the knob is turned all the way to the left, we'd probably want it to be maybe 0 volts, maybe uh, in this case negative 5. And then when it goes all the way to the right, in this case, it's set to uh, 5.583 volts. So um, I'm going to make sure I click convert values here because if I don't, it'll just um, value on this right side will just come over as 0 to 127. So now we've, we're all set. This matches. It's 0 to 127 that it's sending. This is expecting 0 to 127. And when it receives them, it's going to automatically convert them to a negative or positive control voltage. I'll hit save and... Over here in the editor, if I hit Command E, it gets out of edit mode, and I should be able to see some activity when I do this. I could look at this on the scope and see what happens. Nothing's happening, and that's because I'm still in config mode. So I have to click that button, and now when I tweak the knob, you can see there's some visualization under the address over here, and there's also something on the scope. So if I go all the way to the right on the scope, you can see the maximum is 5.58 volts, and when I go to the left, it's negative five volts. So it's working perfectly. That's OSC, sending messages from open stage control. If you right click on uh, the canvas, you can see there are tons of different widgets that you can add. And in this next example, I'll show you how you can use instead of OSC, MIDI messages, either as controls, uh, CCs, MIDI CCs, or uh, MIDI notes. So here I am back in uh, open stage control in the server settings. I'll hit stop so the server stops. And uh, I've just kind of removed that, C, um, that OSC module in VCV rack. So um, what I'm going to do now is just set this up for MIDI. The way that I do that is, first of all, to look at the MIDI devices that are available. So here it's telling me that for inputs, I could use uh, zero, number zero here, the default uh, MIDI driver on the Mac. And for outputs, I could also use zero. So over here under MIDI, I'm just going to make up a name. I'll call it my MIDI, but you can call it whatever you want. And then whatever one of those MIDI in, uh, device numbers should be uh, used for input and for output. That's it. That's all we have to do here. Actually, this doesn't matter anymore because that's just for OSC. It can, I'm assuming it will send OSC and MIDI at the same time, but, um, but I'm not sure. So I'm, but what I'm really interested in is configuring this and then hitting start. And that tells me again in the console here what uh, addresses it's available on, except now it has some extra MIDI information telling me that it's connected to those MIDI ports. Perfect. So now um, I'm going to make a new session here and what i'll start with is actually adding a container keyboard so i'll resize this to be a bit bigger um, and i'll have to do some tweaking here as you'd expect so 
right now, if I click any of these buttons, it's actually going to send them out as OSC messages uh, with a, a, an address of slash keyboard underscore one, same as it did with the knob. If I wanted to actually send as MIDI notes, I'd need to put in an address of note here slash note. And uh, for pre-args, I put in a uh, just in square brackets. I don't know if you need the square brackets, but I did it here. Uh, zero, which is the MIDI port that it's going to send out on. And for target, I need to type MIDI and that name that I gave the MIDI port, my MIDI. I think that's probably it. Uh, there may be some tweaking that you want to do in terms of which notes it's going to send, but um, also we want to make sure that when it's on, it's sending a 127, and when it's turned off, it's set to zero. It's set by default to one and zero because I think that's typical for OSC to send a value between zero and one, but for MIDI, zero to 127 is what we're interested in. So uh, I think that's it. That's all the configuration I have to do here. I'm going to hit Command E and get out of edit mode. Then over here, I'm going to make sure that I get some MIDI to CV module, not CV to MIDI. So um, I can, again, choose that same MIDI driver to listen on. And then uh, volt per octave, I can actually connect to volt per octave on the oscillator. And uh, I will also choose the gate. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I should add an ADSR. Okay, so I've got an envelope generator, and the gate will actually trigger the envelope generator, which will then open the VCA. I'll take the sine wave and feed that into the VCA. So now I should hear, whenever I push a button over here, I should be getting a note. Um, you may hear it. I, I don't think I have uh, the ability in my headphones to hear it, but I can also maybe look at it on the scope. So uh, I can see here, looks like it's working. And of course, I could just kind of um, get rid of the envelope generator entirely and um, just control the, the volt per octave. So as I click different notes here, you can see with the uh, VCA just open all the time, I'm getting different notes. Okay, so you've seen how to use uh, MIDI notes, um, sending MIDI notes from widgets in open stage control to um, VCV rack. Let's try MIDI CCs instead. So over here, I'll add a slider and a fader. I will click on it. And here again, the ID doesn't really matter. What matters is over here, the address that I don't leave it at the default, which would send OSC messages that say slash fader three. Uh, in this case, I want to make sure that it's sending not MIDI notes, but MIDI controls, MIDI CCs. Uh, for pre-args, I have to put in curly braces the, the port number, and then also what the MIDI CC number is. So I'll choose MIDI CC7. And again, for target, I need to make sure it says MIDI and then the name of the MIDI channel. Other than that, I want to make sure that, you know, for OSC, it's normally sending zero through one values. Uh, but for MIDI, we're interested in zero to 127. That's, that's kind of standard. So I'd change that as well. And other than that, I should be all set. So I'll hit Command E, and this should be ready to go. Now over here in VCV Rack, I can uh, again look for MIDI modules. Here's one that says MIDI CC. So um, if I, again, choose the right, uh, the only MIDI driver, I should see on this corresponding jack uh, for MIDI CC7, I should see something coming out when I tweak this. So there you can see, even though it's sending 0 through 127, it seems that this module converts it from to something that looks more like a control voltage, so 0 to 10. If I wanted it to be something where it goes from, uh, you know, negative five to positive five with zero in the middle. There may be a, a widget here that's more appropriate, but in any case, I'd have to make sure probably here that I add another module to offset that control voltage by negative five volts. Um, so what can I do with this? I could take this and maybe uh, use it as the CV for this mixer um, and have the have it basically control the uh, have it control the volume for that uh, VCA. So these are the most basic examples possible, kind of using a slider to change 
uh, volume or to send MIDI notes and have it change the volt per octave. But you can imagine they're all different possibilities. With either MIDI or OSC, you could do things like actually inject modulation directly, or you could trigger a sequencer or uh, any kind of event in the system, um, or you could have it advance a sequential switch, whatever you can think of. There's some way that you can make kind of a custom interface for it and make something that feels more like a, an instrument. One thing I'm kind of interested in and excited about is the possibility of having many people use this interface at once and how can you have something that's kind of a multiplayer instrument or again just having some really customized inter interface for an instrument that you've created in BCV Rack. So uh, that's about it. That's everything I've learned so far. There's probably a lot more to know but hopefully that can get you started. Thanks.